welcome back guys hope you are enjoying the series this far um hope it's very very helpful um like uh the video if it is um in this section we'll be doing something um easy as well so what we'll be doing is basically enabling uh simple physics using the collision uh detection we won't actually be uh, scanning for it just yet all we'll do is just make it easy so that the next steps are easy to follow so first up what we'll do is come to our project and then go to project settings in here we'll come to our group manager so this group manager allows you to create impo uh, to create uh, groups okay so these groups are what will be used to categorize the different uh, things that are on the screen so for collision for collisions to work, you you basically need to be able to identify that. So let's say, for example, this bad guy hits into the player. So in the previous script, um, when this runs, this bad guy is coming to the player. So the moment he touches the player, he's collided with the player. And we want to be able to notice that that collision has happened. Same thing with the bullet. We want when the player shoots this bullet, when the bullet hits this guy, uh, this guy should die, right? Uh, so we need to be able to detect that it's the bullet that's been able to hit uh, the bad guy, um, or that it's the bad guy that's been able to hit the player. So in this case, that's what we'll be, we'll be doing. So first up, we need to determine the groups. So first off, we'll create a new group. So this is going to be bad so this is the group for this bad guy we'll add the group then we'll have a group bullet okay this is going to be the group for this bullet and then we'll have a group for this uh player so we'll call this uh call it player okay so that's basically it so we've got player bullet and bad now what needs to then happen is we've got a group collider map we need to be able to say when this bullet hits the the bad guy we need to be able to pick that up or when the bad guy hits the player we need to pick that up so we need the game needs to know when that happens when that collision happens so this is what this collider map is used for so if we want to detect when the bullet hits the, the bad guy we we'll have to search where bullet and bad meet in this case this would be here bullet and bad meet there yeah. so whenever the bullet and the bad guy meet um, we'll pick it up if we check this section Next up, whenever the bad guy and the player meet, we need to pick that up. So in this case, when the bad guy moves to the player, so we have to search bad and player. So in this case, it's here. When bad guy meets player. Okay, so we'll pick up uh, that as well. So we'll save that. Okay, and once we save that, we are not done. Okay, so we'll have to change every single one of these guys to be in the correct um, in the correct uh, group. So we'll start off with the bad guy. So bad needs to be in group. Bad. Bullet needs to be in group. Bullet. And then player. Okay, in this case soldier. We'll have to be in group. Player. Then we can save this okay so just to prepare for the next few sections we'll do one more thing uh besides that so if they're in the correct groups then uh whenever they collide we'll be able to see that this group of things has collided with this or this has collided with that okay so the last thing that we'll do is basically add the collision um, um the, the, the collision code or maybe I will just end uh, right here and then continue off with the coding stuff 
in the next section so if you found this helpful like subscribe and um, yes keep the conversation going in the comment section